What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jake and today we're going to be going over my dividend paycheck for the month of March. Now I know I was supposed to have this video out over the weekend uh, but I wasn't feeling very well too much Easter candy probably but whatever. I didn't get it out so I'm getting it out today. Now I apologize for anybody who was waiting for it right. Anyway this month or last month I should say was pretty crazy. I broke uh, a couple records for myself and I'll go over that with you guys here so you can see uh, I thought it'd be interesting if we saw my last year versus this year uh, end of the first quarter so we're gonna do that as well but right now we're just gonna list off what I got paid from uh, and it's pretty awesome you guys will see I broke my record for the most money I've ever made off of one single dividend payment and that is quite awesome so uh, we'll get into this right now so we have the first of March here. We have DX paying $1.56, V paying 32 cents, PFLT uh, $1.14, FE 78 cents, INTC 70 cents, and WFC 20 cents. So that equals $3.92 total so far. Now on the second, AWR paid me 34 cents and Suns paid me a dollar. That brings that day's total to $1.34 and the total overall to $5.26. Jumping to the fourth, we have BNDX paying me $0.05 cents and VCSH paying me $0.11 cents for a total of the day of $0.16 cents and a total overall of $5.42. Now on the fifth, PFE is paying me $0.78, cents, SBUX $1.35. SPHY 98 cents, Angel 11, and PFF 15 cents. That brings today that day's total to three dollars and thirty-seven cents, and the total overall to eight dollars and seventy-nine cents. Now, AG and C on the ninth, and J and J both paid me AG and C a dollar thirty-two, and J and J three dollars and three cents. That brought that day's total to four dollars and thirty. Five cents for a total overall of thirteen fourteen. Now, EMR on the tenth paid me fifty one cents. IBM a dollar sixty three. Target a dollar thirty six. Exxon Mobil eleven dollars and thirty one cents. Now that is my biggest one to date. Exxon Mobil coming in clutch with the eleven dollars and thirty one cents. That is awesome. And the CVX six dollars and forty five cents. That brought that day's total to $21.26 and the overall to $34.40. Now Microsoft paid me $2.24, uh, WSR $2.01, DIV $0.93, cents, SDIV $0.80, cents, and SRET $0.65. Cents. Now that was on the 11th. That brought that day's total to $6.63, the overall total to $41.60. 3M on the 12th paid me $1.48, bringing the total overall to $4 or $42.51. On the 15th, McDonald's $1.29, uh, O'Realty $0.94, Maine $0.21, cents, SCM $1.50, Steg $0.12, cents, SBA $1.43. That day's total to $5.49, and the total overall to an even 48 now just over a month or uh, halfway through the month now, Horizon, uh, one dollar and twenty cents total overall forty nine twenty. On the eighteenth, PSEC paid me a dollar oh eight overall total of fifty twenty eight. Black and Decker on the twenty third paid me two dollars and ten cents, bringing the total to fifty two dollars and thirty eight cents. On the twenty fifth, BYM. And Home Depot and VGK all pay me. VYM was sixty-six cents. Home Depot a dollar sixty-five. VGK twenty-seven cents. Day's total of two dollars and fifty-eight cents, and the total overall to fifty-nine ninety-six. Now, on the twenty-sixth, MJ pay me eighty-eight cents. So that is a killer. This is something you guys always want to keep in mind. Is that Dividends can go down. MJ was paying me $3.10. Now it's paying me $0.88. Cents. So just keep that in mind. That kind of sucks. 
but I'm keeping it. Uh, Bank of America, uh, 36 cents, and Waste Management, 58 cents. That brought that day's total to $1.82, total overall to $56.78. On the 29th, ARR, $1.20, bringing the total to $57.98. On the 30th, SJR, 0.93, VTI, 0.67. Day's total of $1.60 and the overall $259.58. Now for the big one. This is the 31st. OXSQ, $3.85. GWRS, $0.44. Cents. GLAD, $0.65. Cents. PEP, $1.02. And then GECC coming in, nixing out ExxonMobil, $12 even. My biggest dividend to date, which is crazy to think about. $12 just for holding on to this company. That is awesome. Biggest one to date. LTC, $0.19. Cents. KBWY, $1.20. Gain, $1.75. Land, $1.62. PCEF, $3.82. PEY, $0.67. Cents. SPHD, $0.56. Cents. SPLV, $0.08. Cents. MDIV, 51 cents, VOO, $1.26. That brought that day's total to $29.62 and the overall total to $89.20. This is my biggest month yet, which is insane. Almost $90 just in one month, just for holding on to these companies that I, I'm going to hold on to anyway. Now, let's take a peek into my spreadsheet so you can see my past year versus this year real quick so now we are in my spreadsheet here you guys see we have january february march 89 20 is where i finished this april right here this 48 78 is the uh dividends that are announced uh and as you can see right here i have some of them already put in because i've already gotten paid from them but now march is what i want to talk about so uh 89.20 versus last year. During last year, March, $4.40. Now that is about a little over 84 bucks more than last year. Now last year, again, I was learning how to invest in dividends and uh, it was starting to take off from here. But in just one year, that is massively different than my previous year. Now I will note if you guys come down here with me. So my projections were to, by the end of Q1, have an average of 93.01. Now I did get an average of 66.05. Now that is a little disappointing, but if we go up here with the money that I've invested this year so far, my average is more uh, closely to now more close to 83.25. So I am about $10 behind uh, what I want to be at. Um, but I do have plans to accelerate this a little bit so I can get caught back up to that. And I do have, I want at least 100 dividend paying stocks in my portfolio, uh, ETFs and REITs as well. Um, so I do have slots open for about six. So I am doing some research on those. Um, but I am close to my goal and I think I could get caught back up here very shortly. So I do not want to get discouraged from my next goal, which is $125.37. Now that is nuts. $12 for one stock. That is my biggest one yet. That is something I never even thought about even being able to achieve, to be honest, before like last year. I. That's nuts because if you have that much money in the bank, you're not, you're probably making like a dollar on interest there. So, or on a uh, dividend payment. Now I made $12 just off of, I think probably like less than a thousand dollars, which is nuts. But that's the video guys. I appreciate everybody who has uh, viewed this video, who is sticking to my content. I appreciate all the new subscribers. You guys are awesome. Make sure to check the description as well. My Instagram's down there. I would appreciate that. And as always guys, I hope you're staying in the green. I hope you are staying safe and peace.